first thing first is to download the app iRefine. iRefine, you get that on Google Play Store or Apple App Store. If you don't know how to do that, just go to your Google Play Store, come here and search for iRefine. Search for it this way and you are going to see your ARI fine. Second thing to do is to make sure you turn on your Bluetooth, your data and location. So you can now launch your ARI fine app. Make sure it is open like this. Please make sure you charge up your watch before you start using it. So the next thing to do here is to switch on the Bluetooth of the watch. So we are going to go to the Bluetooth like this and make sure this Bluetooth is toggle on. This is off. Make sure it is toggle on like this. As you can see, this is the name of our watch here, in case you want to check it out. Now, the next thing to do here is to sign in. Here, I'm going to use my Google email to sign in, or you can use your email. As you can see, it says sign in successfully, All right? So I'm going to select this option here, and it's going to search for my device. As you can see, it is searching for it, so let's wait for it. Located, so let's wait for it to bring it up. So we are going to select that and it's going to get connected. As you can see, device connected successfully. Now you have to grant permission here. Bluetooth pairing, select pair and view this attention. So here you have to grant permission, just as I have said earlier. So grant permission, make sure you grant permission to Ari Fine. So once you have done that, you can see this red watch changed to green watch. Now come to this my device down here. And you are going to see your watch details here. How to get WhatsApp messages. So all you have to do is to go to this device setting option here. Select that. And come to your messenger reminder here. When you select that, come to your WhatsApp reminder. Make sure this is toggle on like this. Okay. Once it is toggle on, you are going to receive WhatsApp messages on your smartphone. Select OK. And you can see set successfully there. And if you want to change the time settings, you can come down here under the settings, toggle off this 24 hours clock. If you want to change it to 12 hours, toggle it off to 24 hours. Let me change this to a watch face. You can see the time. So when you toggle it off this way, you can see set successfully and it's going to change the time to 12 hours. As you can see here on our watch, it is now 12 hours. If you want it 24, do the same by toggle it on and it's going to give the 24 hours clock watch face. If you want to change the watch face of your Arifine smartwatch, all you have to do is to come to this die setting here, select the die settings, and scroll down here to DIY die, select that, and you are going to see this DIY die page. Now you select your picture, whatever picture you want to use, just come here and select, select picture. When you select that, it's going to ask you to select picture or online wallpaper. Now I'm going to use my own wallpaper, so I'm going to select, select picture, going to show my gallery all right so i'm going to pick one of the pictures here that i want to use once i'm okay with that i'm going to select complete option down here okay then you can now shrink in on the watch face and select this option up here as you can see there's a tutorial showing right now that in case you want to move the time on your watch so let's select that okay as you can see it is moving the time so if you want it to be here you can just let it be if you want it to be left you can let it be there whatever position you want your time to be and if you want to change the color of your time just come here and select whatever color you want i think yellow is okay in my case i'm going to use the drop down and it's okay this way i'm going to select this option tick up here the next thing i'm going to do is to select save and use so i'm going to select that and within some seconds is going to upload it to our watch as you can see right on our watch the upload symbol is showing up so on the smartphone you can see the percentage reading so let's wait for it now our watch face is here as you can see it looks beautiful on our watch and here, if you want to set alarm, you can come here and set alarm. Sedentary reminder. If you want to use your watch to take pictures, you can come to this remote control selfie. Select that and you are going to see it coming up like this. Here, you can see vibrate. If you want to change it from vibrate to non-vibrating, then you can toggle this off. The language settings, you can come here and change it to English or whatever language you want to use it on. Okay, so that is pretty much it. And if you wanted to synchronize time from your watch, 
to your phone you can just come here and select synchronize time and it's going to synchronize with the time that is right on your smartphone all right and if you want to do factory setting it's here and if you want to unbind the watch you can come here if you want to use raise your hand to brighten the screen you can come here and use it and you are going to set the time is going to start raising your hand as in if you want it to turn on when you raise your wrist you can do the settings here and if you're having issue with your iPhone app not connecting to your smartwatch, what you have to do here is to come to this background protection, select that, and make sure you have the background permission given to this smartwatch to work. Without that, it's not going to work. And also, you have to come to the system authority management, select the option here, and make sure everything is allowed. Okay, once you give the permission here also, your watch is going to work. And if it's not working yet, all you have to do is to go to the settings of your smartwatch. Please go down to dual mode this way. Select the dual mode option here and make sure it is toggle on. That will allow your smartwatch to sync up with your smartphone easily.